It's been about a month since James Browner has taken his new position as city administrator here in Waverly. So far, one of the biggest debates he has had to be a part of was the future of the historic Green Bridge. Monday, that decision was made at the city council meeting. Browner joins me now to tell me more about the decision. So what exactly was discussed and decided? On Monday night, uh, finally a year of discussion and public input was decided by the council to uh, replace repair on site the uh, iconic green bridge or the third street southeast bridge uh, it's approximately 99 years old and it will be an extensive repair the entire deck some concrete addition and so uh, it was a good conclusion to a very long process and will it stay in the same spot as it is now or yes it is they had looked at uh, numerous different places from second street fourth street a street some of it was uh, financial the implications to it a lot of it was the narrowing of the river makes it the shortest span i think it's why it was originally put there and so it was a good fit um, a study in 2003 said it should have stayed there as well so the council decided it probably is the best place to leave it instead of trying to invest and redevelop another area to replace the bridge now there's a lot of citizens that live in this area how will it affect them while the construction is going on and when the new bridge is completed the construction should not affect them too much any more than in any kind of construction will. There'll be some noise, there'll be some things of that nature. Uh, I'm not sure how the demolition will go to get parts of it off before they put a new deck in, things of that nature, but it may be done in place. Uh, a lot of that'll have to be worked out in the specs when they decide how to actually physically repair that bridge. Uh, it's supposed to be for about a 20 year lifespan once it's done, so it's gonna take something very extensive. Uh, once it's done, I think it'll really reunite that neighborhood and uh, provide a lot more access than has been the case. But uh, unfortunately, it'll take at least a year to maybe two years to get that done. Even the uh, engineering itself takes quite a long time for a structure that size to be completed. Now, you said that they're going to repair it. Yes. What exactly are they repairing and how long will that take? Like, you said it'll be a year to take to repair. Correct. But why is it being repaired? The other alternative was to take the bridge down completely and put a new concrete bridge in. Uh, the decision was made to preserve that historic part of Waverly, that iconic bridge, uh, some of the city's heritage. That bridge is almost 100 years old. Uh, it's called the Green Bridge. Actually, I understand it was silver originally, so maybe it'll be silver when it's done, but the uh, repairs are extensive. They will remove the entire decking, the floor of the bridge, so to speak, uh, a lot of the railing. They'll cut that steel out, put new steel in, and then they will concrete a path over it, which will help protect the steel under it, which doesn't exist today, and maybe keep it from eroding as fast as it had before. Okay, and when will the construction take place? It'll take quite a few months to get the engineering design done. Uh, it could be late fall that may be pushing it. It probably will be most likely in the spring, depending on weather, river levels, things like that. All right, well, that's exciting news for the residents of Waverly. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing how this happens and how the repairs take place. Absolutely.